my first programming language was Redstone. I, you remember when Minecraft was this amazing new game? For the first time ever, you could actually go anywhere and do anything. Just exploring, building, fighting. It was so fun and so different. Eventually, though, I got bored and I stopped playing. But then Pistons came out. I saw that video and I was like, with the Jeb door, I was like, that looks sick. I have to make that. And that's that started my redstone journey. I was it's like watching tutorials on it. I studied theory on the wikis. I built tons of projects. Every time I built something, I always stand back and think, can I make this bigger? And so like my two by two gate became two by five and then three by five and then this giant five by five, which is my first video on this channel. And Minecraft was exciting again. I was constantly brainstorming new crazy redstone projects i theorized different ways you could do elevators transportation systems traps there's just like, so much you could do with it and years later i got into programming and when i started my computer science degree i realized how much i had already learned from playing with redstone there's of course there's like the circuitry side of things i remember being in a class freshman year and we we're learning about boolean logic and logic gates i was like and gates hey that's from minecraft and I did really well in that class. A bunch of people did really bad. And a couple of them thought I was cheating. <laughs> I was just like, no, I just, I just play a lot of Minecraft. Um, but the big thing that I learned, so much more important than circuitry, was how to debug. I learned how to debug from Redstone. I remember when I started out, I was getting annoyed how every time I set up a project, it would never work the first time. Like I'd set up this huge thing, take an hour, and I'd flip the lever and it wouldn't work. And I would have to spend more time figuring out why it didn't work than I spent actually setting it up in the first place. Like, I remember, yeah, it took me an hour to set up this thing. And then it took me like four hours to fix it and figure out why it wasn't working. And because of that, as time went on, I did more projects. I started approaching them differently. I realized if I divided everything up into components and got those working on their own and then stuck them together, then I would only have to really worry about fixing the connecting parts right because I would know that those worked on their own and I would drastically reduce the amount of time I spent debugging and it's just I mean that's just like regular programming you test and you debug as you go you divide things into components and I think it's just so cool how a game could teach me general programming concepts and, and get me excited about it like I would never be interested in circuitry and component-based programming as a teenager it would be super boring but minecraft just taught it to me and made it you know something i was actually interested in i remember seeing this article back in minecraft's heydays talking about how every generation has a big game or a couple big games that really define their childhood and that this generation had minecraft and the author was kind of asking i wonder how that's going to affect us and what will we grow up to be and to do so I guess I'm kind of an answer to that. <laughs>